Welcome to Aptitude Destination. Please pause the video and read the question completely. So there are nine cups arranged in equal number of rows and columns, which means three by three. So there are six cups containing coffee and three cups containing tea. So we are supposed to find in how many ways can they be arranged so that each row should contain at least one cup of coffee. So we'll put one cup of coffee in each row which leaves us with three more cups of coffee. So let's say it occupies this position. So we can divide six cups of coffee as such, giving two coffees for each row. Or if we try to give only one coffee for a row, this will be the possibility. Please note that I'm not talking about the arrangements yet. We are only dealing with the number of coffees that can occupy each row. So the possible numbers are either we give two coffees to each row equally or give one, two, and three. These are the only possibilities corresponding to the number of coffees that can occupy individual rows with at least one coffee for each row. Now we can move on to find the number of arrangements possible with these quantities. Now let's consider the case where the coffees are distributed equally among the three rows, which is two in each row. Let's say this is how they are distributed. Now consider the first row. The two coffees can either be kept like this or this or this so there are three possibilities just with the first row likewise there are three more possibilities for the second row and three more for the third row multiplying all these we'll get all the possible arrangement which is equal to 27 so with dividing six coffees equally among the three rows we get 27 possible arrangements now let's go with the next possible numbers which are three two and one Taking the first row to contain three coffees, second row to contain two coffees, and the third row to contain one coffee. Now these numbers itself can be interchanged to form six other possibilities, such as first row can contain three, second row can contain one, and the third row can contain two. Likewise, the first row can take two, and the second row one, third row three, and so on. Now these are all the possibilities with the numbers on itself, which gives us a total of six different possibilities. Now let's find the arrangements that are possible with these numbers. Let's say the first row contains three coffees. Since all the three places are filled, there is only one possible way of arrangement. Moving to the second row, two coffees can be arranged in three different ways. Either like this, like this, or like this. So there's three different possible arrangements. One coffee can be arranged in three different ways, like this, like this, or like this. So three different possibilities. Multiplying all these, we'll get nine. We also had six possibilities with the numbers, so therefore we can multiply these both, which will give us 54. Now adding 27 and 54, we get 81, which is the total number of ways these coffees can be arranged with at least one coffee for each row. Therefore, option D is the right answer.